Hey guys, and welcome to this quick video. Just letting you know that Overnight Flyby Wire have released a new stable build of their uh, of the A320 NX mod. The stable build now is 0.5.1. Uh, obviously, we had the stable build released not too long ago, 0.5.0, .0, and then Microsoft updated their uh, updated the simulator. And then, of course, what happened is the mod sadly no longer worked. So we did a quick test flight last night uh, with some uh, quick fixes that have been popped into place. Well, those hot fixes have now been popped into a new stable build, which is what we've just uh, downloaded now. Um, and everything appears to be working as it should. So at the moment, I'm just turning to intercept the ILS uh, at Amsterdam again, as we did on the uh, on the live stream last night where we tested this out. Uh, everything appears to be working really rather nicely, and we're actually intercepting the ILS a little bit better, which is good considering the live weather that we've got uh, going on at the moment. So we'll just let this uh, we'll just let this run out see what happens how far are we away we're 11 miles out a couple of other things that they've introduced with this fix I'll uh, quickly go through because looking at this this is going to be as much of an automatic landing as we can uh, as we can get away with doesn't it so the sim brief you can now either enter your user ID as well as the usernames uh, the reason for that was some people's usernames were either really long or they had spaces or special characters in them uh, so sim brief IDs are now accepted as well um, sim brief now the operational flight plan if you make a new one it will override your previous flight plan which means you can now do multiple turnarounds so again that is uh, that is great news We've also got things like incorrect block time displayed, improved visuals of the CDU. Um, we've also got flight plan airways were showing as undefined. That's been fixed. We've also fixed the fuel system valve pump indices as well. Uh, improved packs indication. There's a whole host of things that have uh, have now been improved. So uh, the link will be in the description to download this latest stable build. So it is still a stable build. It is not the developer version. Uh, obviously the de developer version works as well as that is also tested as we're adding new things to it all the time but I thought you'd like to know that you can if you wish prefer to download a stable build which is now a working stable build as uh, as you can see here uh, I'll have a quick look outside there's not much to see of Amsterdam is there <laughs> uh, I am recording this with uh, live weather, live time, etc. So this is currently how it is at 13.45 Zulu on the 23rd of December. Um, we also saw last night when doing the live stream that the... Um, that the weather, the meta, seem to be much more accurate now. So I know a lot of people obviously had wrecks. Uh, well, Microsoft seems to have upped their game a little bit. This is uh, this is really good. Uh, how far out are we? About six and a half miles out. Let's get that landing gear down. And uh, yeah, so this little notification video that I'm doing could end quite badly depending on how this landing goes. Check your sensitivity settings as well because we know flight dynamics do change as Microsoft do the updates so that's always worth uh, keeping an eye on. I've not since updated mine so we'll, uh, we'll see how that reacts in a moment. What I did find was that the rudder control seemed to be much better than it was previously. So that's quite nice. Have we not got the seatbelt signs on? We've not got the no smoking signs on or no portable devices signs on either. We have now. What I should have done before doing this video is actually check out what the Meta was going to be like and picked a different airport. But I thought as we did uh, Amsterdam runway 18 right last night, it's only fair to do runway 18 right again just now. But as you can see as well, the ILS is captured completely, first time, accurately, unlike the, uh, the live stream video that we did last night. So we've actually got, um, well I'm actually just looking, where is, we have entered, we haven't entered an MDA have we? Let's go 100 uh, for DH, which would normally automatically be a, an auto land. Uh, we can't do that, of course, in Microsoft Flights in 2020. That is not yet implemented. Uh, but with 100 feet to go, we'll uh, hopefully have some sort of lights in front of us 
knock the autopilot off just so we can control the touchdown and the flare. At least that's the plan. The main plan of this video was just to let you know about the uh, new stable builder the mod was available. You're getting a bonus uh, a bonus landing here which could be uh, could be interesting. So what are we? About 650 feet above ground level. Still no sign of the ground. What the heck? We can have some fun as we land, can't we? Those uh, rain effects on the windscreen looking very good. And holding the ILS quite nicely. It was just slightly to the right of the centre line. It looks like we're uh, bringing that back in. We've got land on the FMA, so that's good. Just watching that glide slope starting to uh, creep above us, so we're slightly lower on the profile. Oh, there we go. There's runway lights, and you can see we are slightly to the left, aren't we? Uh, slightly to the right, aren't we? Try and bring that back in line before touching down. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, okay, so we're on the ground, that's the main thing. But uh, yeah, the rudder is definitely improved since the, uh, since the Microsoft 2020 update. So that's good to note as well. Okay guys, Hope you found that a bit useful. Go and download now the new stable edition of the mod and uh, I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye for now.